Because today you are about to meet your maker. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. You know, remember a woman at the well. Remember a Samaritan woman. A woman that I'm very sure that when she was going to the well, she was reasoning her life. That why my life is like this. You know, everything was heavy. Nothing was making sense. Are you hearing me? Amen. Huh? Amen. And she was living a life of a sin. A sinful life. A life that some of you here, you want to kill yourself because of that. You know, she was carrying something, going to the well. And she never knew that that day, she never knew that that's the day her life would be changed completely. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm trying to say. I see you meeting Jesus Christ today. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying. Today, let me tell you, today it's your appointment to meet the one who created you. And when you turn away from him, you shall rejoice. You shall rejoice. You shall rejoice. I'm saying you shall rejoice. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Are you people, you're not hearing what I'm saying. You're really not hearing what I'm saying. You know, I'm talking about a woman that she met so many people that disappointed her. So many people that was disappointing her. You know, that day, she didn't know that she's going to meet Jesus Christ. When the Lord looked at her, the Lord could see that she's in pain. You can never meet your maker and you remain the same. Amen. I say today, Amen. this is the day of your appointment. Amen. I say this is the day of your appointment. Amen. Uh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Amen. But do you understand what I'm trying to say? Amen. This is the day of your appointment. When you return, when you go away from this place, <laughs> they will ask themselves, because the word of God says she returned. And I'm talking about a person that was rejected by the community. You know, many people, they gave her names that maybe she was Mahosha, she was a prostitute, because she was changing husbands. Let me tell you this. God is not ready to give up on you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm saying God is not ready to do what? Give to give up on you. Amen. You know, you will be given a new life when you leave this building today. Uh, maybe I can prophesy people. You know, Maybe I should speak with people because it's like I'm speaking to myself. I say, you see today, Amen. this is your appointment day. Amen. Huh? Amen. You have been appointed to come here. Amen. And God said, we will meet in Midrand. Amen. I'll meet you there and your life will change for good. Amen. You know... <laughs> This is your day. Amen. You know, God wants to change your life forever. Amen. And you'll go and tell your neighbors and say, hey, where I come from, where I come from, I have never seen, I've never seen things like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Are you ready for that? Amen. Huh? Amen. Can I pray for you? Amen. Let me your, your last shout. Amen. 